At the historic meeting of Showbiz and Big Biz, Music's Magic Man and the Midas Mogul ran the media gauntlet to open the world's glitziest casino. That fan hysteria reminded me of 1963 when I covered the Beatles' arrival in America. Donald Trump gave Michael Jackson a personal tour of his $1.2 billion extravaganza. And we were there every step of the way. If the Taj Mahal Casino is the eighth wonder of the world, on that day it seemed the beloved glove one ranked ninth. 75,000 fans nearly swept away supermodel Elle McPherson, but they didn't stop the casino take topping $2 million for the day. Away from the throng, I asked Donald if bringing in Michael was his ultimate trump card. To have Michael at the Taj Mahal, he's my friend, he's a tremendous talent, and uh, it's really my honor. It's, uh, it's a big day for me. The power duo took us along on their private tour of the casino that spans 4.2 million square feet. The strictly off-limits money vaults afforded a unique view of its gargantuan gaming rooms. In a space the size of three football fields, there are over 3,000 slots, some taking $100 chips, plus 167 gaming tables. That's room for 17,000 players to dice with Lady Luck beneath crystal that cost $15 million alone. We stayed up close when Donald escorted his superstar guests to the High Rollers penthouse suite. Of 1,250 deluxe accommodations on 51 marbled floors, special visitors are given the key to a $10,000 a day super suite. The palace within a palace thrilled Michael, but Donald was quick to point out it's only one of the Taj's temptations. Spoiling guests is a Taj Mahal trademark. When Donald next took us to the casino's restaurants, we were amazed to discover 15. In one reserved for VIPs, where Michael was flanked by tiny fans, there are no menus. Its gourmet chefs will create anything you wish. With revenue topping $37 million a month, Donald's biggest gamble is turning up aces. And after bidding farewell, Donald went off to his other Atlantic City casino, a chips throw away in the marina.